What is going on Unisonis fans? My name is Emma and welcome back to day four. Today I think we're going to start trying to flesh out the background um, with a bit of paint and I think I'm actually going to be experimenting with these sponges. I have never used them before obviously since they are very new and I've had them for a while. So I think that'd be a really cool idea. I have some ideas going along with that. Um, but we just got to find out if they work or not and if they don't when we'll figure out something different. But I think I'm going to start fleshing out the background and we are going to um, put down a base layer of Mark and Ethan's skin tones. Also, a really cool thing happened last night. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I got verified. I don't have hardly any subscribers. Last I checked I had two and these videos have only been getting I don't know, maybe 10 views each, but I got verified, so I I can get monetization, which is insane in my opinion. That blows my mind, and it kind of gives me a little sense of hope that I can continue this after this month is over and after this challenge is over. So if you guys do want me to post more art videos, and that would be drawing, painting, experimenting with stuff that isn't art supplies maybe? Um, then leave a like and comment down below what you want to see after this month. So with all that said, let's go ahead and start figuring out the background of this picture. Hey guys, as you can see, there's a little change in our plans. So I ended up looking at the canvas and thinking, man, this thing is disgusting and erasing all over. I also redid Mark's eyes because, oh my goodness, look at them. They were awful. And I mean awful. I don't know what I was thinking when I kept them in last episode. I had to redo the left eye a little bit, but it ended up coming out pretty okay, I guess you could say. So when I was done with that, I ended up bringing out some black and some white, and for some reason, this, this editing software won't let you see my full camera screen but I was putting black and white smeared out on the back of my palette and then what you see now I was dabbing the sponge in it and putting it all over the canvas. I was trying to make a cool fade um, in the background because we weren't going to be able to see their suits well we were going to be able to see Ethan's but not Mark's suit if we left the canvas white in the background so I thought why not give it a little bit of pizzazz a little bit of flair you know and yeah add some black <laughs> so with Mark I did not want to go in with the sponge immediately so I ended up picking up a paintbrush and painting around his silhouette to try and keep those sharp edges in there. So I took my smallest paintbrush and well, my smallest flat paintbrush and started going over the edges. Then about, about now I kind of realized that's not gonna work. So I picked up my biggest brush and I just started filling in the entire background black, not even caring about the white edge that was inevitably going to be there. This didn't exactly go how I planned because I ended up leaving a lot of white spots in the solid black and the fade ended up turning out gray because I did not let the black dry at all, which was a huge mistake, but we'll just call it the first layer. <laughs> So then I let that layer dry and I started um, working on the skin tones. So while I'm gone here, mixing in Mark's skin tone from yesterday only to realize that I made it too dark when I was looking at a reference. So I started adding in more white and a little bit more yellow ochre and I know you guys can't see this but it was right next to the canvas. So here I am trying to... Uh, figure out a lighter skin tone than those on the paper and trying to match it up to Mark's skin tone up in front of me 
I was actually holding up the paper to my computer. Luckily, the um, first layer of paint is transparent, so I am able to see the sketch underneath, and I was really, really preying on that. So I did that. I accidentally did the same thing with Ethan's, where I made his skin too dark. Um, Ethan, is, Ethan's a little pale boy. Um, so I had to add a bit more white and a little bit more yellow ochre to his. Um, I ended up having a hard time making his light enough without making it not look like a skin tone. So that took me about 10 minutes to get his right. The paint was actually starting to dry on me. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and leave a comment down below. So we did get a lot done today. I didn't get everything that I wanted done today, but we still got a lot. I did not realize how long this was going to take. I have been working for about an hour and I did not want that line between the two. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool, but it wasn't what I was going for. Also, I think I have a new idea for the fade, so we might work on that next video. I'm still really happy with what we got done today. Um, I did have to remix Mark and Ethan's skin tones. Their skin tones were a bit dark on my papers since I, I wasn't mixing them while looking at a reference. I did have to go through and paint on the edge of my paper and then hold it up to my computer screen. Um, Ethan, Ethan's up there right now since he was the last person that I did. With that said, I leave you. Vini, vidi, visi. Memento more. I'll see you tomorrow.